I see the futility that there's nothing really that I can do to get there because I see how my attempts are just circles, spinning in circles, and my mind spins in circles. And it yeah. seems like I can't stop it. I don't think there's methods to get there because I've seen those run through. I worked with somebody else who had methods. Um, so I, I feel like I'm just left with this no man's land of I'm not fully embedded in being into the story, but I'm not into this place where I don't think I'm a separate person. I believe I'm separate. That's, 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 you know, that's what's going on. And so mm-hmm. it's like I just wait for one day when whatever this horror is that I feel goes away. But that's all I have right now is that. Yeah. And so in a sense, I watch this program. I listen to you. I guess it comforts me to some degree. But otherwise, day by day just passes by in sort of a no-man's land, and I'm running out of options. <laughs> I'm running out of places to go, and I see people with lots of places to go. Oh, go meditate. Oh, do this. Do that. I, I don't know. You know? So, yeah, I mean, it's um, <clears throat> no-man's land. Uh, that's a great, it's a great question. Um So yeah, I mean the the spiritual search. Um, hopefully, you know, eventually leads to exhaustion. Uh, hopefully, eventually, you become exhausted with the whole thing. You start to see through it and the futility of it. Um, I mean, I was a very, very intense spiritual seeker and um, really intense. You know, I. I uh, uh, I shut myself away for a year, two years, and that's all. All I did from morning to night really was just seek and seek and seek, read spiritual books and meditate, and um, and really the whole thing ended in in despair. I mean, it's it's funny because pe- people, you know, because I write books and do talks, or whatever pe- people think that I I must have succeeded, right? Jeff must have succeeded because he he um he did all the spiritual seeking and then he 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 awakened. Well, I mean, that couldn't be further from the truth. I've never said anything of the sort, never. Um, the seeking ultimately must end in failure because it's it's the mind looking for something it cannot have. It's the mind looking for something it cannot have. And, and so where I ended up years ago was just, um, you know, it's very similar to, to Frank's story, just this place... Well, nothing really meant anything anymore. I completely saw f- through the fut- the futility of seeking, and it, and yet I I still felt separate. Uh, and, and I had these stories as well about this. Um, I was still waiting for something to happen. I, I was still waiting for like the final events or the final falling away or the the, the final shift or the energetic shift or whatever. That it was like I'd kind of given up. Um, doing anything because what what i'd seen was that you know anything i do is going to fuel the sense of being a separate person it's it's, there's going to be a me there doing something to get free at the same time i I, by that point i couldn't give up because to me it was either it was either i couldn't go back to the way it was i couldn't go back to the way it was so um really i i I always say this people laugh when i say i I failed. My, my, my spiritual seeking failed. I, I failed to awaken. Jeff Foster failed to awaken. So it, it's like what Frank was saying, that, that recognition, um, kind of in living in this no man's land, you kind of can't go back to the world. You can't go, you can't regress. You can't go back to the way it was, but at the same time, you can't seem to go forward either. You're kind of dangling in this in, in this place, kind of, Almost like half in the world, but half not in the world, or and and uh, still, and there's still this hope, you know, um, still this kind of subtle hope that at some point it's going to fall away, it's going to shift, and um, this was this was the place that I was in uh, a few years ago, and. Uh, and of course, you know, at the time I thought, well, this this is hopeless, you know, and I, I, I just thought, well, there's nothing I can do. There's, there's nothing I can do. I can't make this shift happen. I, all these teachers were they 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 seem to have had this shift, and I, I couldn't seem to do it. I couldn't seem to get it. I, so I said, well, maybe maybe it's just a question of luck. 
maybe it's a question of grace maybe maybe i'll just maybe i should just sit here and wait for it to happen um maybe i'll i'll try doing nothing i'll try sitting back doing nothing because a lot of these teachers say do nothing or, or there's nothing you can do so i'll try doing nothing um or I'll, maybe, maybe i'll just try not to try maybe i'll just forget about it so i try forgetting about it you know <laughs> but all the time there was this kind of subtle hope um it was kind of like the i call it the the waiting game it was like kind of i was postponing living you know I, I, it was like life was happening but i wasn't gonna live you know i was kind of holding myself back from life because i thought there was there's something around the corner there's the shift that's going to happen uh, um, there's something that's better than this. There's something that's better than this just around the corner. And But the thing is, it, it never came because, of course, there was still someone there waiting. There was still a separate me there waiting. So really, the whole thing ended in failure. Jeff failed. And, and so what Frank was saying is that there's a real intelligence to what he's saying, you know, in, in a sense that seeing the futility of the seeking there's, there's all. It's like there's already an intelligence there. There's already something there that knows there's something beyond seeking. You know, even to recognise the futility of seeking, there already must be an intelligence there. That's you could say that's awakening, uh, um, an intelligence there that's kind of waking up, recognising that the futility of looking into a future for salvation. Um, but of course, the, the individual clings on to hope. It clings on to this vain hope, you know. And, and, and in that, it keeps itself going. As long as you have hope, you can carry on being a person, right? As long as, as, long as there's hope. Uh, but of course, as long as there's hope, there's also the threat of hopelessness. So, you, you know, you live with the constant threat of hopelessness. And, um, and it, it's... Uh, and I recognize this. I mean, I... I I understand it, and um, all I can say it was, it was in the midst of that despair. It was in the midst of that failure. It was in the midst of Jeff's failure that this was seen. That it was seen that because really, all all I was left with, you could say, after after years and years, actually after a lifetime of seeking, because we're all seekers, even if we're not spiritual seekers, um, I mean, after a lifetime of seeking. What do I have to show for it? Nothing. All my seeking hadn't led anywhere because I still found myself here. <laughs> it's like, shit, I'm still here. And um, so it was in the midst of that absolute fail the failure of Jeff that this was seen. And, and you know, so people then say, well, well then, it's, it's okay for you, Jeff, because you you searched you know you it's like so um it's like so it's like so jeff we have to seek before we fail well the, the point is like we, we've all failed enough we've all failed enough you know um and ultimately all seeking leads to failure because the mind is looking for something it can't have so um <clears throat> and of course this this message is massively threatening to the seeker this is the last thing the, the spiritual seeker wants to hear that the seeker who is so attached to their paths and their processes and their spiritual knowledge they don't want to hear this so i, I understand why people um don't want to hear this they're threatened by this message or they think it's too simplistic or they think it's i don't know what they think um i can understand that because right here right now this is the death of the seeker the absolute death of the seeker so and and of course the other trap here is that you know people then start say right well I need I need to fail Jeff failed and then he he awakened I, I didn't say that either I never said that I never said that what was seen is that there's no one here who could awaken because there was never anyone here separate from everything in other words this had always been complete I had always been complete there had been there was there was a wholeness here that really had nothing to do with Jeff and his seeking or Jeff and his achievements or lack of achievements and Jeff and his knowledge or, or his ignorance. Um, what, what was seen in the midst of all that was life as it is. And that, that isn't a special state. That can be seen now. That can be seen now. 
I'm not awakened. There's no such thing. There's no such thing as personal awakening. Someone who thinks they're awakened is just a person with a story about awakening. Someone who thinks they're enlightened is just someone with a belief that they're enlightened and they're separate from people who aren't enlightened.